another about me video if you'd like to see the first video of my about me click over here somewhere or i'll be in the description box i kind of enjoy doing these so i decided to do another one i just pulled up some random questions i found on the internet i'll try not to slouch in this video any tests for not slouching what is your favorite drink uh water and pink lemonade when feeling fancy what's your favorite song at the moment anything by taylor swift obviously i've just only recently purchased her album around new year's which i'll just go with clean by taylor swift what is your favorite food that's like a really tough one like choosing would be like choosing your favorite child favorite dessert would be strawberry cream cake Favorite meal would have to be maybe pizza. The last thing I bought, I'm just gonna go by my last bought item on Amazon. I got my niece this um, Zelda plush. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> and we got my nephew, Link version, Link. And they're both siblings, so oh, she has the Zelda and he's a, he has the Link plush, so it's kind of adorable. Favorite book of all time. My favorite book of all time is a cookbook. Um, this is the first book I've ever baked anything from scratch from. I think I only made like one thing from this. This was my sister's cookbook. This is what made me like get into baking. I made peanut butter cookies and it looked exactly like the photo. I'll show you a photo of it somewhere if I could find it. I remember being like super proud of myself being able to make the same exact thing on the photo and I was like thinking how easy it was and then it just went all downhill from there and I just kept on making more and more things but yeah this is just a book called Cookies by Hil Hilaire, Hilaire Walden this is my sister's cookbook and she like left it behind when she moved and she doesn't really cook so I don't know why she has a book my sister shops at Sephora pretty often and she gave me a bunch of these perfume samples and I get figured like I'll just find one that I really like and I'll just end up buying it one day but <laughs> the one that I ended up liking out of like a handful that she gave me was this Chanel Blue Day Chanel and I just looked it up right now and it's um like not a perfume it's a cologne made for men and that makes me kind of sad because this smells really good <laughs> I think I'll buy it for someone <laughs> and I'll just smell it off of them instead. <laughs> Favorite holiday? I'll just be like everyone else and give the answer that everyone gives. National Donut Day, of course. <laughs> I love National Donut Day because you don't have to plan anything, you don't have to do anything, and you just go to Krispy Kreme and you buy one dozen of donuts and get one dozen for free. I also have the app for Krispy Kreme that tells me when the donuts are hot. Oh, right here. I didn't delete it. <laughs> I have the Krispy Kreme app. Oh my god, my phone's so dirty. Ooh, low key cleaning. <laughs> if that button's red right here, that means that donut shop has hot Krispy Kreme donuts. I just feel fat now. <laughs> uh, then I lost my questions. YouTubers make it look so easy. <laughs> okay, here it is. I feel like an old lady. I made a Snapchat like a few months ago, but I just have no idea how to use it. My my little cousin that's like in high school, she's like, I don't know, 15. She's like, swipe, swipe, this is what you do. You want to swipe, 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 swipe. And she was doing like all these things and she was like showing me 20 things per second. And I was just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I just don't know how people use Snapchat. Like I just, I don't think I'll ever be able to get it. I, I think I'll just stick to Tumblr and like Instagram like old people. <laughs> Have you ever been out of the country? The only time I've been out of the country is when I was around four and went to Cambodia and I remember every detail of it. It was just that traumatizing. You probably heard of the story about me going to Cambodia if you've like watched my draw my life. That's the only place I've been out of country and I think I'll just leave it as that. <laughs> It's just that when I went, the conditions were like pretty bad. Okay, this is like years ago, like like 20 years ago. But I heard it's a lot better now, but when I went there, if you wanted to drink water, you had to get like a giant block of ice and you had to wait for that block of ice to like melt down so you could drink water. And I literally like vomited every single day. And when they took me to the doctor and asked me what was wrong with me, my, the doctor told me, oh, this is just a typical American th kid thing. Like, the conditions is, like, a little too harsh. I don't know, it was, like, the water, the air, or everything. But you have to, like, let your kid sleep in a hotel, and they'll slowly start feeling better. 
and it's just it's like, oh, I just don't want to go back. <laughs> I was like four, and we stayed there for like at least three months or something. It was so bad, and I've seen like things like poverty. I couldn't like ever finish my food, not because I didn't want to, but we would go out to eat, and while we were eating, there would be like little orphan kids and that were starving and stuff, standing there asking if they could have our leftovers. And I remember just being like, um, and I would just take a few bites, like three bites of this, and I'd take like one sip out of my drink and just be like, I'm done. You can have the rest. <laughs> and I'm just gonna puke it all out anyway, so it's better that you guys just have the food. <laughs> you speak any other languages other than English? Yo, Jack Mai. Yo, Hablo Espanol. <laughs> Yo tango ombre, hase color, hase frio, yum clean, yum jijit, yum bao. And I think that's all I'll do for today. <laughs> What's your favorite store? Michael's? Michael's is like a craft store for your, like people with different kinds of hobbies. Like they have stuff for knitting, they have stuff for people who are into clay stuff. And they have stuff for like people that are into baking also and gardening. But I go there mostly for the baking, obviously. The one thing I don't really like about my Michaels is like they take all the baking tips and they put it behind the cash register. I guess theft is pretty high on like the baking tips, like the piping tips, and you know, the tips to pipe frosting. And it's just really awkward just having to ask me like, oh, can I look at the piping tips? I need to get like 1A or like 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then they're like, oh, come behind the counter and you can choose whichever one you want. And it's just like, oh, it just feels so weird and people are looking at you. It's almost bad as my grocery store is once you reach like the beauty product section and the medicine section. They have like cameras from every angle and as you're walking down the aisle, this really obnoxious loud alarm sound goes off. It's like doo 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 And all you're doing is just standing there and it's like doo 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 And you're just like, oh my god, I'm just attracting so much attention right now. <laughs> and like I need to find whatever I need to find like right now and just get out and I get it because that is pretty high around here and they just don't want to lose their stuff but it just ruins it for other shoppers that just want to pay and just get out. I didn't even do anything wrong and I feel like I did do something wrong because the alarms keep going off and off. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions you would like to ask for my next video, comment down below any questions and you can go to my Twitter and also ask me questions or anywhere on my social media site. Watch my previous video and...